don't belong off road, guys. This is the terrain that leads you up to the Las Vegas oh, Bronco exhibit. It. Especially when they have Pirelli P0s. And this was our mode of transportation. All right, so this is basically a 10 hour experience where we get to do pretty cool stuff with Broncos like taking them on trails, learning how to use the cars properly. And we're basically here to document this entire experience. Uh, but yeah, it's 10 hours with different sections. And it's a pretty large group. They provide water and food and things like that. But yeah, 10 hours. It's a wild Bronco. All right, so now that we're finally up here, we're at 6,200 feet in elevation and we're on 1,100 acres worth of land that is dedicated to the Bronco off rodeo. And as you see up here, we're in this little area where people can eat and then you have this massive Bronco sign in here. And then you have, that is an Outer Banks trim level Bronco right there with the Sasquatch package on it. But if you come over here, which it's a mixture between, they all have the 2.7 liters. It's a mixture between base models all the way up to wild tracks and it's a mixture between two and four doors, hard tops and soft tops, but they all have the two seven, which means that they all have the automatic transmission. And then they also all have the Sasquatch package on them as well. So I'm glad they dedicated 50 Broncos to this <laughs> instead of dedicating 50 Broncos to getting out to people. <laughs> but this is a little more of a look of what's going on down here. And we'll walk down there and I'll show you everything that's going on down there, but I'm gonna be able to get as much footage as possible and they've given us permission to go around and stop and get angles and get different footage of everything, including walking all the way down there and walking through all the Broncos and seeing what they have down there. So yeah, we'll head down there right now. Alrighty, so over here, as you can see, there is an absolute load of Broncos over here. Most of these are soft tops, which makes sense um, because the hard tops are having an issue with production right now with the roof chafing and everything under heat and exposure but like i said there's a mixture of them here like you have a big bend there and outer banks there and then you have a badlands right here but as you can see they are all sasquatch package equipped and in a multitude of different colors like over there you have carbonized gray area 51 cyber orange oxford white of course you just a multitude of these things all right so right now we're headed to their orx course where um they're going to show us a lot of the things they got going on and some of the obstacles they're going to be taking us over. So yeah, should be really interesting. All right, so we finally figured out which one we are getting. We are getting this white four-door hardtop wild track. So it should be an interesting ride. We have had our first Bronco bump of the afternoon. Woohoo! Beep beep. Like Bronco five. Bronco five. What are you doing, Bronco five? And a Bronco Sorry, bump. I've done it a hundred times. Is when you're using hand over hand steering instead of hand to hand, and your hand hits the um the horn or the your elbow forearm hits the horn, which I've done before in a video actually. So. Try just the front. Oh, that's not too bad. I'm so sorry about this digital zoom, everybody. We have the rear locking differential on because there is some loose terrain, so we want to give the wheel with the most traction the most power. Um, and up here, we're going to be using trail turn assist, which I've never used this before, um, to get around this corner up here. Notice how the tire is dragging on the inner left side. That is on purpose. See how close we made that turn? That is what is this but What did it sound like from the outside? Okay, so just in case you're interested in knowing this, when me and Ethan took the Broncos to the Salt Flats and doing donuts with them, 
every time you crank the wheel a little too hard, um, every time you crank the wheel a little too hard, make that weird noise. I don't that's normal. That's just a normal thing on these cars. So if you're doing donuts in your Bronco and power sliding around, you hear that? Ah! So right here, we're next to this pond, and then we have all of the eight Broncos lined up here. And we're in that final one right over there, that two door over there, uh, that base model. And we're basically, you know, the last person in the pack. So we have to call off everything when we, uh, when we pass through an obstacle, since we're the last person, we have to make sure that the lead car knows that we made it through and that everyone made it through. Because if we made it through, everyone else did. But yeah, we have all these ones lined up right here. Uh, two wild tracks, a bunch of Badlands, um, and then we have that base model that we're in all the way at the end. So yeah. And then we're gonna hop back on the trail in just a few moments here after everyone's done getting water. But yeah, so far so good. This, is, uh, this has gone really well. Well, I hope you guys are enjoying the Bronco off radio so far. This is gonna be about five hours of footage, six hours of footage edited down into about 20 minutes. So if you guys, do like the video and appreciate all the work we're putting into this. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And we're just about to stop for lunch. The Broncos off, leave the keys in them, leave the radios on, and then we will be heading back here in about an hour. You guys can leave your belongings if you would like. And that's the key for that. Bye bye. So we just finished up lunch and we're going to hop back into this two door Bronco base right here and we're going to do a little more harder trails than we were doing before. Apparently we're gonna go up some overlook that overlooks this entire area. And uh, then we're gonna start heading back down. But the whole thing should take three to four hours. And uh, yeah, I'll we'll see you guys in the car. Do the Bronco wave. Afternoon is gonna be a lot more of technical stuff. So get ready, we'll be, uh, we'll be ready for that. That makes me nervous. Technical? Technical? I'm behind a Bronco right now who keeps spinning the rear tires. Technical? Up ahead, guys. We're making a it's saying pretty turn. technical. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're gonna need that. Right there. We're gonna need that relocking uh, differential on right here, clearly. Looks like we got a little stuck up here. And what are your thoughts? Well, I had like two wheels off the ground at one point and there's a couple of loud thuds, uh, but it managed to do it without making any bad paint scraping sounds or me breaking something that isn't supposed to be broken and that costs a lot of money. So I think overall, that was pretty fun. All right, we're 11 degrees sideways right now, which isn't anything to write home about, but leave no trace. I don't know how much longer this trail is, but we can find out. Got it. In the back, how much is, I'm on three wheels. I'm on three wheels, aren't I? You are. Wow. Three wheels. Like I'm tucked into this. Well, let's see how it looks. Um, to a car that wasn't a Bronco, that would look broken. Go straight. Straight. You're going to drop off, but you're going to be fine.
not only is this ridiculously tight, oh my god. Oh wow. 22, 23. Okay, so 23 degrees right there. That is the hardest decline we've faced so far is 23 degrees. We got your Crocs. <laughs> and that was the Bronco off rodeo. I have to say it was a super fun day and I learned a lot about off-roading and the entire experience behind it. If you ordered a Bronco and you want to do this, I highly encourage it because it is so, so fun. Free food is provided. If you have a lodging thing, they'll figure that out with you just in case you're from another state wanting to come to one of the few states that have this going on in it. They give you a Bronco to drive. They're not babysitting you all the time. You can bring a guest if you would like. It is so absolutely worth it to come out here. And on top of that, you get a free dinner too, which is something me and Ethan are about to go enjoy because I am exhausted from this last 12 hours of doing this stuff. So yeah absolutely fun i absolutely loved it if you like the video make sure you hit that like button down below and if you want to see more from us make sure you go ahead and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video well it's dinner time <laughs> welcome to Bronco Hot.